this. this. This is what you call off-piste. This isn't even a B road. This is a C or a D road. <laughs> Back to civilization. <laughs> Ooh, gas. That doesn't bode well. There is a, a reason for this, uh, <laughs> this music, by the way. <laughs> it's supposed to fit in with the theme. Here we are. Today's video is probably going to be the most English yet. Don't worry, that does not mean I'm going to be doing another full English breakfast. No siree! Today we're ramping up the class because it's a, an afternoon tea. The like of which the gentry may have partaken of in the past while playing lawn tennis with wooden rackets and talking about corsets made in bath. I don't know. But I'm excited. Excited and a little bit apprehensive in equal measure. Songbird Cafe Bar's afternoon tea challenge. Eat everything we pay. It's free. Fail. It's 24.50. It does say there at the bottom, you get two people, so it's like a team challenge, but uh, hopefully I'll be stomach enough to do this solo. We'll see. I should really store my drone a little bit more uh, safely, but I was in a rush. I called ahead to let them know I was coming. I'm a smidge late. Getting into a bad habit of being late all the time lately. Lately. <laughs> Here we go. Push, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm here to accomplish the improbable. I mean, I've not seen a picture of the actual food, but it, it seems easy to do. Like two, you get two people too. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna try to do this alone. But everyone, everyone's failed it. Everyone's, what teams of two have failed this? <laughs> it might, well, it must be bigger than I'm thinking then. Midnight train to Georgia. That's spooky. Just got back from Georgia. Not really spooky. In order to film this, I might have to take the... Uh, am I allowed to tinker with it? Can I take the top plate off and before yeah. I get started? Yeah, that's okay. Just because it's too tall, I can't get it all in shot. Oh, I can't wait for that. I don't have to order the dessert menu today. Good God! Ugh. How bright is that flash? That's what I want like this morning. What's the name of it? It's just a, the, the afternoon tea challenge? Yeah. Does what it says on the tin. It costs uh, 25 quid if you lose. But if you win, it's free. You get a team of two people, you get one hour to finish it. If you can do so, then you get it free and they take a little picture of you for the, uh, for the Wall of Fame. Uh, but I'm gonna try to do it by myself. Don't um, take medal. Medal? You get a medal? You said nobody's done it yet? No. How many people have tried? How many teams have tried? Uh, four. Four teams have tried. Yeah. And they've all failed. And they've all failed, right? And it's been around about a year, you say? Yeah. Okay, cool. In that case, the coffee is included, right? You have to finish the coffee? Yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got to finish everything and okay. the coffee. Got it, right, okay. Are you ready? Start with the cucumbers. Thanks, Dad. What's up, esteemed viewers? And welcome back to another installment of Hairy man eats lots of food. And today we're at a place called Songbird Cafe, taking on their afternoon T42 challenge, uh, which is a pretty unique one. I don't know why I'm looking so befuddled by garden variety lettuce, but there you have it, it was early. Yeah, it's a unique one in that, uh, well, first of all, I don't think I've ever heard of, let alone attempted an afternoon tea challenge before. But not only that, it's, uh, it's a team challenge, which there are not many of in this country. And uh, that means that you get one hour, team of two, to complete everything you see here before me. And if you do so, the uh, the meal, which would normally cost twenty four fifty, is on the house. You get a spot on the wall of fame and a gold medal. I mean, it's it's not real gold. It's, it's that stuff that turns green, you know, if you get it damp. But um, the, the, it's, it looks cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done one of these before with such a substantial amount of lettuce. There's lots of healthy stuff on here. Some of these cheese sandwiches with maybe this chutney, some kind of chutney. Brown skin pickle. Is there any other kind? I'm not sure you'd see me eating Branston pickle on like Downton Abbey or something, but that's how we do it. Up north. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> You have my word on that. <laughs> oh, this is yummy. Yeah, you're, you're probably wondering like, how exciting can cold sandwiches really be? But I love this type of grub. You get beef, ham, 
egg, cheese, tuna, all of which were delicious. Right, that's, that's one plate down. Pork pies next. Yeah, miniature pork pies, no less. Again, not sure you'd commonly find these in an afternoon tea at some aristocrat stately home. Maybe Princess Eugenie or one of those fringe members of the royal family, but um, who doesn't love a crusty pork pie? And these were pretty low on jelly too, which is always a bonus. This part's less fun, you know, <laughs> the, the green stuff. I kind of assume that because this this is actually weighted perfectly for me because I love dessert. So there's actually more cake than there is anything else. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that part. Yeah, I think going into this, not really knowing what to expect, I thought the bulk of it would be... You, know, you got a little something in your beard there, but... <laughs> I thought, yeah, maybe the bulk of it would be some cold sandwiches, maybe some pastries and such. But the majority, certainly of the weight of this thing, um, is in the desserts, the, the premium ingredients like the sponge cakes and stuff. And you would think, given that it's 2450, they'd maybe skimp on the good stuff and fill it up with the slightly less lavish ingredients. But they don't, so credit for that. And in case you're wondering what's in here, if you're not familiar with the cuisine, I've covered the sandwiches. But uh, second plate is uh, some, some pork pie, some coleslaw, a little bit of foliage. Um, you got cucumber there for the, the posh folk. Can't have an afternoon tea without cucumber. And the third plate, which is the main event, is uh, full of desserts. You know, we got um, two slices of chocolate fudge cake, pretty large slices. Two equally large slices of red velvet cake. We've got scones with cream and jam, some chocolate sponge roll, some bakewell tarts, and uh, fruit in there just for good measure. <sighs> Cold sore. Quite a lot of it, actually. Yeah, this uh, this coleslaw was a little watery for my tastes. I mean, if I, if you know me well enough, you'll know I'm, I'm, I'm no um, coleslaw connoisseur, far from it, but if I'm gonna eat it, I prefer it to be a little on the stiff side, um, and this did, didn't have a great deal of texture, but nothing can dampen my spirits because we're about to move on to my favorite dessert. Ugh. Two plates down, onto the fun stuff now. <laughs> you still think I'm gonna do it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, nothing's gonna stop me now. Um, they do this thing where if you eat one of their afternoon teas uh, and you do it in one hour, you get it free. Oh, it's meant for two people, but you know, I'm hungry, so I'm trying to do it myself. <laughs> you gotta do it all in by yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, what, you don't think I can eat all this? I don't know what to start with. Should I start with the, uh, I'll start with the scones, they're the hardest to eat. You don't have to spread the fillings on your own scones here, they come pre-filled. That is a lush looking scone. Scone, depending on where you're from. What do you say? Scone or scone? I say, I say scone. Scone? Oh. That's what I'm talking about. None of this scone nonsense. This is going to be really messy. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave this to the end. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to... Change of plan. I'm gonna do the scones at the end because they are gonna make a mess. Let's do the. Uh... Oh man, look at the size of this chocolate fudge cake. <laughs> look at my face. <laughs> You're eating the cake, not fighting with it. Look at that though. That is a. That's a proper wedge. That is a doorstop of a slice of fudge cake. I think about this time I start to realise. Uh, okay, I kind of get why. Even maybe teams of two would, would struggle with this because these are the dense slices of cake and they're, they're not small. So for, for even for two regular people, even with a bit of an appetite, I, they would be pretty sickly, I reckon. Chocolate stuff was lovely. Really enjoyed the chocolate cake and the chocolate rolls. I hope you do it. Oh, thank you for the support. <laughs> these are little Bakewell tarts. Oh, I thought that lady was going to stay to the end, maybe for a little bit of moral support. Especially given the way that she interjected at the start. What are you doing? <laughs> she didn't mince her words, she was, she was straight in there. I, fair question, I guess, if you turn up to a, a, a cafe and there's a, a, a dude eating tons of food. 
filming himself with the, the three camera set up, you, you probably would ask the question. Not bad for 20 minutes in. Is that what it is? Yeah, you Time flies when you're eating cake. This is where people start to give up. Oh, this is about the time they usually give up. Yeah. Not on my watch. <laughs> there is still a lot of food left to be fair with the scones and stuff. This is gonna be difficult for you guys to clean up. You might want to just burn all the uh, the plates and the, the pots and stuff. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to. I, I, I really, I'm trying. <laughs> I think I must have gone through like 20 napkins. Adding the pouring cream probably isn't gonna help with that. <laughs> Oh, that's really yummy. The red velvet cake is, is very, very nice. That's good. Not that the fudge cake was not nice. Yeah, you've said it now, lad. There's no going back. Gotta own it. This red velvet cake was uh, was a bit special, though. Thank you. Second coffee of the day. You can see it's not quite as, as easy as it might uh, might appear on the surface. That's to help combat the, uh, the buttercream, which I do love but um, it can get a, a bit much really quick. I often wonder how much better I would be at eating without a beard. <laughs> Not much, don't uh, don't waste time thinking about it. Oh, buddy old pal. Besides, better to have a, a nice strong beard than be a, uh, I don't know, an, an impressive gurgitator. Anyway, eyes on the prize, there's a, there's a gold medal at stake here. We're, we're almost there. I'm sorry. <laughs> you see my belly filling up from the side there? I'm not quite there yet, though. That's as tidy as the beard's gonna get today, I think. Oh, right. Do I have to finish the cream? Do I have to drink the cream? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> All right, I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah, well, you got no choice, Sonny Jim. If you want that medal, normally you do find the um, sauces or Creamy accompaniments are usually optional, but not here, it's mandatory. So we've got to get it done. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you at the next one. Gotta leave no doubt. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I bet you're wondering what's going on, aren't you? I just, I just guessed. Oh, you just guessed. She's making me drink the cream. I thought this might be optional, but it's, you have to drink it. I think so, you have to tell me if, if that's clean enough. Yeah. <laughs> this is my second cup of coffee as well, just in case you're wondering. It's not the first one. Oh, thank you very much. So that, that's the gold one, that's the silver one. Oh, can, can I put it on now? I'm gonna put it on. Yeah. That's a really fun one, you know. Have you seen my videos? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen them. Then you should know the answer to that question. I don't need notes thinking well, I just cutlery. Start, I don't want to just assume that you're just going to eat with your 